Okay. Okay, but I, I wanted to ask, I think Brecht said about that uh, thing with uh, the two zones, right? I honestly and legitimately, I'm wondering if that was a joke or not, because I wonder how many people really know, how many developers, even senior, know that there are there is a default zone, outside zone, and there is the actual NG zone. So Brecht, were you joking or is this... Uh, real expectation that you have. Okay, so again, it's 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 a uh, it's a difficult question. So I'm not expecting them to know that there is this parent zone and there's this child zone that is called the angular zone, and you know. But I do expect them to know that, like every time, whatever event happens, it will trigger zone JS. And there's an outer zone, how we can prevent that. So for instance, if you have this, um, any widgets, any map, any game, any anything that you just like um, instantiate in the ngf 2 view in it, uh, if you're running this in the inner zone, like every event that will happen inside of that will constantly trigger change detection. And I mean, the on push strategy, it's important, but it's not as important as that because some, so I had this, um, this colleague of mine who he, he was a junior at the time and he liked to add sexy stuff to our, uh, to our application. So he created this, per so he added this perfect scroll bar, but he didn't add the perfect scroll bar. He added the NGX perfect scroll bar. Um, and yeah, that thing just like every time you scrolled like 30 times a second, it was just constantly triggering zone jazz and it was a huge performance performance thing. So I would expect a senior Angular developer not to know how change detection works, but to know like any event, any asynchronous event is being captured by Angular by default and using run outside Angular can help you to, um, yeah, to make sure that you're not constantly triggering change detection because that's, that's the root of all, um, of all performance issues, in my opinion, like not having too much components reevaluated, but having change detection run too often. So depending on what the definition of a senior developer is, I mean, you have senior developer and you have senior Angular developer, right? So I'm expecting if, um, and, and again, I mean, if even if you, uh, if, if you're not able to answer that question, you, you're, you have other questions that you can uh, blow the interviewer away. I don't think we should decide whether the candidate is right for the job or not based on one question. But I do think like a senior developer should know like this thing called zone JS is like constantly triggering change detection on every asynchronous event. Uh, for instance, if you're adding a Google Maps uh, or, or any other Maps components into your Angular application and you're not running it in the, in the outer zone, yeah, things are pretty likely that um, that is constantly going to trigger zone JS and change detection. Nice. Like, guys, you have really giant gold mine of knowledge here flowing for Brecht and Chow. Uh, good questions, Mihai. Really, really, really good. Uh, and about those zones, I yeah, I also don't believe that a lot of people people know this stuff. But after listening to this space, uh, they can really pull a hard one on an interviewer because I believe that even not a lot of interviewers are going to know about that, and that will be an interesting outcome when the candidate knows more than the inter interviewer, which I think happens a lot because sometimes the interviewers are forced to do interviews. They are backend developers. They don't even know that much about angular so uh, interesting stuff can happen there yeah thanks guys for for that, that discussion 